Welcome back to our channel. Today's I am going to show you how to create an application that will interact with ChatGPT via the API. First, if you do not have an account yet, you need to sign up. It's very straightforward. Fill in your email and password then you need to verify your email. After successful login, go to developer menu. There are plenty of resources we can learn about ChatGPT, but this time our interest is about API. So select this API reference. We need to know how we could send a request through API. So next select making request menu. Here we can see the example how we can send a request. And a sample response, we can copy this sample command and map it into Delphi REST debugger tools. Let's start our Delphi community edition. Then create a new project. Open REST debugger from tools menu. We can see here an example on how to make a request and a possible response. Copy this link. Change the method to post and paste the link to the URL entry. Select application JSON for the content type. Next, select and copy this and paste it to the custom body of REST debugger tools. Let's change the content with our own queries. Next, we need to create one parameter for authorization. In this step, you need to have your own API. Click Add. Select header for kind and authorization for name. For the value we need to put, a word bearer in front of the API key. To get the API key, just go to this menu. Let's generate a new one. Copy this API. Please save this secret key somewhere safe and accessible for security reasons. You won't be able to view it again through your OpenAI account if you lose this secret key. You'll need to generate a new one. Paste the API code like this. Let's try to send the request. Click this button. We got an error, the message indicating that the API is incorrect. Let's fix it and try again. The entry looks okay but do not encode was not checked. Select do not encode, then click apply. Try again sending the request. Now looks good, we got the response. The respond is in JSON format. The answer is inside the object name content under message object. We may need to parse the JSON later.
We can try another query by editing this content. Let's put this query, can you recommend a good mystery novel? For someone who enjoys Agatha Christie and Sherlock Holmes. Next, click send request. We can check the response in body tab. Okay, this request is working as expected, so, to make our life easy. Just click copy component button. The message shown that. Three components successfully copied in the clipboard. Next, go to our project. Paste the components into the form that already created. On Windows you can just press keyboard control and V. The rest client. REST REQUEST and REST RESPOND COMPONENT with all required properties set up are in the form. Next, place a memo component and a button. The first memo is for displaying the response and the second memo is for commands to the chat GPT. Let's first save this project and the unit. We need to check if this is still working as before, so on button 1 click event, paste this code. Let's run the program, then click the button. The result from ChatGPT should be displayed in the top memo. Yes there is a response, but still in JSON format, so next step. We need to parse the respond and get the content value. To parse the respond and get the content value, just paste this code in the button on click event. You can copy the source code or download. The download link is in the description of this video. So please check the description of this video. Okay, let's compile and run it for Windows platform. Compiled successfully, this application can work as expected. I need to change the height of this memo and the button. Also add a text label. Now, let's change the platform to Android. You need to have an Android phone connected. The code compiled successfully. But you can see if we write a message in the input memo. The entry is not scroll up so it is covered by keyboard. We need to fix this. If you check in the REST request component, there are two parameters. The first parameter is where you can put your own API. You can change it here or just add one line code to change it.
Here where you can put or edit your API. Now, let's fix the entry memo, so that it will scroll up when the virtual keyboard pop up. We need to put one more component, vertical scroll box. Just pick it form the component palette then put in the form. Then arrange it as shown in this video. You have to set the vertical scroll to align client and put the layout inside it. Next, you need to add the code as shown. You can find the source code and the code explanation in the video description. Set this to align client. Paste the private variables and procedures here. Let's run it and see how it goes. This is better. Let's ask ChatGPT a question. What should I make my boyfriend for dinner? He is vegetarian but does not like pasta. Click send, then wait for the response. The application is working as expected. So in this video, we use REST debugger in Delphi to create a REST request and respond for ChatGPT. Also to make the entry scroll up when the keyboard pop up. This code basically 
set all necessary properties of REST request, including the PI key and content, where in this case is a string variable called myQ. After the request executed, the respond is in the REST respond in JSON format, which is then decoded. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is useful. The source code download link is in the description of this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so you don't miss videos like this in the future. See you.